It's that time of year again. We're all thinking about giving. We're giving things to others, to our clients, to our family, to our friends. And I'm wondering, what are you giving to yourself? I have a couple of ideas. And I thought I would just take a few minutes to share them with you and give you some things that you can do for yourself as a gift over the holidays. A lot of us are taking a few days off around Christmas or around New Year's, and it really is a great time to just stop and reflect. We got a lot to reflect on for 2020, and it's not all bad, but I know most of us will be so glad to see 2020 in the rear view mirror. So many good things to come in 2021. But the best thing that's coming in 2021 is you taking care of you. That's really what's gonna make 2021 great. When you figure out how you're gonna take care of yourself better than you ever have before. When you figure out that it's okay to take a rest, to give to yourself, to fill yourself up, and to keep yourself going and motivated in a way that you can show up and be your best every single day. That's really what's going to make 2021 great. Yeah, maybe some of the lessons we learned in 2020 will help. Maybe the goals that you set are going to really motivate you. But setting goals and being motivated, that's not the whole picture. It's not enough. If you are drained and depleted and tired and fussy and grouchy and you don't have time to exercise or take care of yourself, you just can't show up and be there for the rest of us. And we need you. So you've got to figure out some ways to take good care of yourself. And 2021 is the year to do it. There's no better time. Start right now. Now, I've got a couple of books, imagine that, that might be helpful to you. I'm just going to share them here. So this is one that I just started reading, and I love it. It's called Stillness is the Key. And yes, that's part of taking care of yourself, being still, being quiet, resting, letting your brain have a chance to just do whatever it wants to do and to daydream and to create. You see, we can't show up and be our best selves if we're tired, like I said, and if our brain is just, you know, exhausted. We need that creative time. So stillness might be the key for you. Another one that I love, I've had it a really long time, is Attitudes of Gratitude. Now, there's research to show that being grateful helps you live a better life, helps you keep a positive outlook, helps you show up and be your best for others. So think about maybe keeping a gratitude journal, just a list somewhere of things that you appreciate, um, and maybe reading this book to help you think of more things that you can be grateful for. I know I've learned that I'm very grateful this year for so many things that I think I often overlook. Simple things like I'm so grateful for this beautiful roof I have over my head, uh, for running water, you know, for heat, simple things that people don't have that we do have. And I'm super happy for this beautiful office that I have that's quiet and gives me a lovely place to work because a lot of people don't have that either. And you may be one of the people sitting at your kitchen table with three or four kids around you trying to get your work done. So I am really grateful for some of these very simple things, the healthy food that I get to eat, my comfortable bed that I get to sleep in, my beautiful yard that um, I can go out in anytime I want and just enjoy. So I think it, it's time to just really be grateful for those simple things. Here's another good one. Somebody got me this a long time ago. I'm gonna say probably almost 15 or 20 years ago because I 
really never knew how to just do nothing. And this was kind of the start of it. And it's a funny thing, actually, a true story. Um, I was sick for a while. A lot of people don't know that, but I was sick for several years, actually. And my doctor told me I needed to rest. And I said, what is rest? Like, what, it, what counts as rest? Does, is watching TV rest? Is sleeping rest? Is sitting rest? Like, reading a book, is that rest? What's rest? Can you imagine not knowing or understanding what is rest? And I really didn't know. So um, I had to learn how to rest, how to rest my mind, how to rest my body, um, just give myself a break. But The Art of Doing Nothing is a really great book. Um, just, oh my gosh, some fun things in here just to remind you to be quiet. Um, there's some great photos in here and um, just, you know, places like your garden. And, and I have learned to, you know, just be quiet in my garden um, and just to sit still. I've learned to meditate and I've learned to just maybe, you know, do nothing sometimes. Just literally sit and do nothing or just walk and walk and walk and let my mind go and wander and, you know, just not doing much of anything at all. And the last one is an interesting book that's brand new that I just read. It's called The Practice by Seth Godin. Whoops, there you go. You can see his name now by Seth Godin. I love this book. I listened to it um, on Audible and then I bought the book, the hardcover book, so I could go through it again and mark some things. What I love about it is Seth is just telling us to show up and be our best selves. Like, why do we have to keep telling ourselves that? <laughs> I don't know, but we do. And there's still so many lessons to learn about that. So showing up and being your best self is just an important thing and we have to do it. The only way we can do it is if we take care of ourselves. So you've just simply got to learn how to take care of yourself, how to eat healthy, stay hydrated, how to rest, how to exercise, how to get a good night's sleep, how to know when you've had enough and just walk away so that you can just take time, how to meditate, just how to really fill yourself up, how to nurture yourself. Because you know what? No one else is going to do that for you. You need to do it for yourself. So think about how you're going to take care of yourself in 2021. And I hope that some of these books will help you. And if you need more ideas, please just message me on LinkedIn. I'd love to share some ideas with you and I'd love to hear your ideas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. It's going to be a great year.